rebound is commendable. We're happy that African economies are showing some resilience despite the challenging global economy. Having said this, our ambition is to consistently grow at 7.8% per annum in order to lead our people out of poverty. To achieve this target, this expectation, we must come together across the divide for shared solutions to critical challenges that impede the development and progress of our continent. In the words of the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, 2024 must be our year of rebuilding trust and restoring hope, unquote. Dear brothers and sisters, having missed out from really benefiting from, the, uh, um, from globalization, Africa must now position itself to fully participate in the ongoing, what we call the 3D reset, demographics, deglobalization, and decarbonization are reshaping the global economic landscape now. We must decipher where the opportunities are and determine what investors are looking at as they allocate their resources, as they allocate their capital assets, particularly the private sector. The demographics of Africa present tremendous economic potential that must be cultivated to take advantage particularly of intra-African um, trade opportunities and to transform and develop our economies and our region. African growth must and should be embedded in human capital, functional infrastructure, and strong institutions. Your Excellency, um, distinguished colleagues, the overarching theme for this year's 2024 African Caucus is facilitating intra-African trade, catalyst for sustainable development in Africa. This theme, is, this theme is germane, it is pivotal as we collectively seek to accelerate the transformation and development of our dear continent. In the next couple of days, we will talk about strengthening the Pan-African payment system, trade facilitation, infrastructure, energy access, and um, digitalization.